Stethoscopes. Ew. <laughs> Are we buying a firm puts? I don't play earnings. I must still, still be confused about how the MM works. It's certainly still the most likely explanation that I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, I'll take that into consideration, but I won't be too biased about things you say in the future. Do stocks in Japan run right to left? I don't think so. Isn't BTU something of an earnings play? Mm, not really. It's it's a, a warm commodity and an expected increase in free cash flow play. Can you add a positive affirmation to the daily roundup? You're a great guy, man. Ding, ding. The day is done. Uh, not a lot to say about it, honestly. We got some long side capitulation in the early part of the day as people took profits, which was expected. Um, however, after the longs repositioned, they were never able to gain any ground against the 41.25 put positions. Um, and we ended up closing below those by the end of the day. Um, those were mostly zero DTs, and now a significant amount of the short interest to the downside uh, fell off the chain. Um, some longer dated puts did come in today, down to like the 4075 level, um, which is right around where the JPM collar is. Uh, tomorrow maybe looks a little better. We'll see how futures perform overnight. Um, I think some of the bearishness today uh, catalyzed by the speeches from three of the most bearish, some three of some of the most bearish Fed presidents um, or hawkish. Um, GME pretty flat on the day, which was which was nice. Um, I think maybe there was some FTD covering going on, although fairly minimal. Uh, we may, we're, we're managed to remain fairly sensitive to rises in the market and uh, not so sensitive to the drops in the market, which generally indicates an illiquid trading environment and an inefficiency in the market. So, Jimmy, interesting. Upstart slammed into the end of the day with that big fat bag of liquidity they got this morning. Uh, Fubo, kind of the same deal. So, uh, the rest of the week still has some potential to the upside, although starting from the 4100 level, if we do in the morning, I don't like it very much. I think there's too much room for us to slip down. And there's not enough calls near the money. So bulls are hesitant to get in at the money, even though they're very confident and they're out of the money positions. Uh, tomorrow we have some jobs data in the morning. That could affect things. Uh, if, you know, job openings. Or, what is it? Is it jolts tomorrow? No, jobless claims tomorrow. So if jobless claims are up, the market could view that as bullish. And that may be just the catalyst we need to nudge into those uh, farther dated long call positions on SPX. But we'll see what happens. You can't time out other mods. Only I can time you guys out. Carl bought Ape, so he's getting one. And you're getting one for asking about banning Carl. Okay. The mods are gone. Everyone go nuts. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.